nominee so it's uh, who not, is it's going not, to it's not the know, Biden, be the deciding vote. It's not the Trump people who but invented look, this one, question, it, right? The idea of adding justices to the Supreme Court came from the progressive side of the Democratic Party. It's just a simple question. He has long been against adding justices to the court. Has he changed his mind or does he have the same position he's had since at least 1983? But look, see, I think you only have to look at how hard, for example, Vice President Pence wanted to go at this in the debate last week, rather than answer a question about what his administration would do to protect pre-existing conditions. Uh, that, to me, that tells you everything you need to know about what the Republicans are trying to do here. They would rather have this conversation than talk about the fact that they are pushing through a justice who is going to... Um, uh, uh, be part of a court that could potentially overturn the Affordable Care Act, that could strip away protections for pre-existing conditions, yeah. that could rule on a woman's right well, to choose, we, we that could the, rule on well, equal pay issues. We, yeah, we they, don't wanna, they don't want to defend that. I get it, and we ask Republicans those questions, but, but we get to ask Democrats questions too. And this is a simple, it's a simple question, uh, and it's one, frankly, that Trump did not invent. It came from the progressives in the Democratic Party. And I, I thought it was odd when Vice President Biden said the other day, uh, in response to a reporter's question, that voters do not deserve an answer on this. Of course voters deserve an answer on his position on every issue. But we're not going to play their game. Well, he's given an answer. He's answered the question. I mean, he has probably answered this question 15 times over the course of the last week. The answer is, I am not going to play Donald Trump's game. I am not going to allow right. the terms of this debate to shift to a hypothetical that assumes, by the way, that we, the Democrats, are going to lose here. I mean, that's that's really, that's what's at, at the core of this argument they're making. Uh, it assumes that we're going to lose. Vice President Biden doesn't accept that. He does not accept that. He's focused on... Uh, turning people out to vote, making sure their voice is heard, and making sure that they have a say in who the next Supreme Court justice is. All right. Well, I think a serious policy question is not a game, and I don't think it's Trump's game. But, Kate Benningfield, we always appreciate you coming on the show and answering the questions or deftly sidestepping them. Thank you so much.